All right, uh, Chris, just a thought on, you know, obviously your team was, they, they played with a lot of pace, Columbus, and you guys had some challenges too, but Stuart Skinner was just terrific. What you, I mean, it, it's got to be reassuring for a uh, coach to see your goal and give you that sort of performance again. Absolutely. We weren't very good in the first two periods, and he came up with a lot of big saves. And I think with our team, you know, we played a couple emotional games, um, you know, coming home on a road trip, playing Toronto, then Calgary, and then here, playing a team that's going to blow us in the standings. We just weren't ready, and the first two periods definitely showed that. You made, for one of the rare times, significant line adjustments for the third period. Just the, I mean, obviously the lack of productivity, but just the thought process and the deployment personnel that you use in the third. Yeah, we needed to shake things up, and players responded. They played, all, all the guys in the third period played really well. I think the McLeod line with Holloway and um, Brownie really started it, got our momentum going in the third period. They played well. I think it was um, DR's line after that and led to another goal. So I just, you know, overall, we just kept our game a lot more simple, worked a lot harder, skated a lot faster, created a little more chances. Holloway's had a, another great game since returning from injury and uh, scoring a goal out there tonight. Just uh, thoughts on his game coming back into the lineup. He's played two really good games for us. And... You know, he's played a little bit night tonight on the left wing, but primarily he's been a centerman. It's nice to know that you've got that center depth because you never know what happens, and it's it's nice to have that. And, you know, he's been physical, he's been fast, he's been really reliable just on the defensive side of the puck. So it's a good addition to it for our team. Do you view this as a game where you, you know, you didn't play very well and you got away with one, or is it more along the lines of this is who we are? We've got a great goalie and we own the third period. We got away with one. We can't rely on that. Um, yes, we've got a great goalie, but we gotta, we gotta check better. We gotta manage the puck. I think we just, we're waiting for the puck to come to us, and we gotta skate. We gotta work to get it back. And they, they were the faster team the first 40 minutes, and. Yeah, it definitely looked like that. We only had uh, 14 shots after the second period. It wasn't good enough. Um, I'm not sure we had maybe 14 just in the third period alone. So, yeah, we just got to simplify our game, play faster. Chris, the um, the one tendency in this winning streak has been the domination in the third period. You've outscored teams 26 to 6. The second period, pretty good too. I think it's 4 to 6. The first has been pretty even. I think you're plus one. You sense anything from your team? What have you seen maybe that's different, um, you know, in the third and, the, and even the second period compared to your starts? You know, I think it's, you could say what we're doing. You could also think about what other teams are doing. Obviously, the other team is getting really excited to play us. We're on a winning streak. They know we're playing well. They're excited to end that streak. So I would think a lot of credit should be given to the other team being ready to play us. We're getting every team's best right now. And... For us to get up all the time as a coach, yeah, I want our guys to be up ready all the time, but it's human nature to take a sh shortcut if you can and just not be as motivated. But they always find their games right now, and that's that's good to find out. But we can't um, not be ready to play because it's going to catch up to us. You know, tonight we got away with one, but I think in the third period we uh, played a really strong period. And that's how we played for the majority of this stretch. And can you just talk about the, the balance scoring you're getting? You're not relying just on 97 and 29. You know, like Fogel and McLeod actually lead your team in five on five points in this streak. And, you know, tonight Kane, Holloway, Fogel all score. And it's, it's lots of different guys at different times, Chris. I know you played. And so just the importance of that. And do you sense the offensive confidence pretty much in every one of your forwards right now? Uh, we need contributions from everybody, and it's nice to see guys chip in. You know, throughout the stretch, maybe they don't have the most five-on-five five points, but uh, Leon and Connor have been our best players for most nights, and I think they've been very unfortunate that they don't have more goals and assists than they than they have. But they're not going to be able to score every single night. You need that depth, and we've got guys who are jumping the bit to contribute. And you know, two of the guys that you mentioned. Um, McLeod and Fogel have played really well. 
and and they've been used in different situations. Fogel, pretty much through this stretch, has always been on Leon's side. But you think about the versatility of um, McLeod moving left wing and playing center and playing with uh, many many uh, line mates throughout this stretch. So it's it's nice to have the coach or nice for a coach to have the uh, versatility of of uh, being able to change your lineup.